Can I ask a question real real quick to you? Because you were talking a few minutes before about. I know what Jake wants. Well, no, no. Too. This is something different. Lying for lying's sake and that it's not political and it's theological. Uh, is it within the realm of possibility that this movement that we're fighting now is actually satanic? What do you thought... mean in the realm of possibility? Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, there's no it. other explanation. Oh, it's the, it's, well, it's the definition. Or it's it. infiltration it to destroy. Of course, because it's not – look, or both. what's not satanic is like the Sicilian mafia. Right. You right. know, they pimp out women. They loan shark. They sell heroin. But they do it because they want to get a bigger house in Far Rockaway. I get right. it. It's money. It it's makes money. Sense. It's totally. Yeah. It's, a, it's a commercial transaction. It hurts people. It's bad. It's illegal. But it's explicable. Right. I understand that. Yes. You know, what we're seeing now is not explicable. It's not – why would a billionaire – you know, you have a billion dollars. You can't spend it all. Right. It's much deeper than that. Right. And why would you hate things that are true that don't affect you? Right. You can't stand to hear something that's just objectively true. Which means you're – What is that? You're evil. The hatred of truth is the hallmark yeah. of darkness, yes, obviously. Yes, it is, absolutely. Well, because they – the only – because I think it's a cyst. I think it's a very dark system that was yes. created over I don't know how many centuries. But uh, you know, I think it goes back to uh, really dark times, and it's never disappeared. It's like they've been building and building for a really long well, time. Well, you do see. I was thinking about this yesterday. I flew from Europe yesterday, so of course I had like ten hours to read, which is usually bad. But um, <laughs> I was thinking yesterday that there are certain periods in history where. People become – I was thinking about the Spanish Civil War because I was flying mm -hmm. from Spain, but I was also thinking about the French Revolution. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about the destruction of the temple in 70 AD mm -hmm. in Jerusalem. Two and, temples. Yeah, two temples. But that was the last one that was destroyed by the Romans during the revolt. And it, the point – the there are these weird explosions of irrational – hatred, rage, violence, where no one's actually winning, like they're killing for the sake of killing. For the sake mm -hmm. of killing. Yes, and you see these throughout history, and like, what is that? Yeah. No one's actually benefiting from this. Mm -mm. Killing people, making them suffer, humiliating them, torturing them, mm -hmm. burning things down that you could steal, but you burn them anyway? Yeah. You saw this in our cities a yeah. couple yes, of years ago. Like, what is that? Terror. It, but it's not rational. Like, a terrorist, like... Edda, the you know Basque separatist group, like they kill policemen so they could get a little closer to their goal, which was separating from Spain. Makes I sense. get it; it yeah. makes sense. Right. But murdering people just to murder them, burning their stuff when you could steal it, that's again a spiritual phenomenon. Yes. Well, to go on TikTok, it's like the Andy Warhol thing: fifteen seconds of fame. I'm sure he said fifteen minutes, but for the fifteen seconds of TikTok fame. That's what they're doing it for, a lot of them. Yes, but they're like seized by some spirit of destructiveness. Well, like, it's a demon spirit. That's it. That's and that's demonic, absolutely. It's always been here. It's yeah. all, and it emerges, and we actually we lie to ourselves and imagine we've got our total inner control. Yeah. Everything can be explained rationally. Yeah. That's why I hate this whole, they're in it for the money. Yeah, no, If you not. think that's all it's about, you're going to miss what's you're actually miss happening. What it's really well, about. Well, you both got fired when you had the number one television shows. You guys were both racking <laughs> money in. Well, I'm just bringing it up now because it's obviously not about the money because it's about the money. Both of you still have your job. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, that's it's, what it's, gets it's, me. It's they don't I'm... like what you were saying and what you were doing, and it's something that said we had to take them off. Fuck it. Fuck our stockholders. We're going to do it anyway. That's weird. Well, I that's overheard weird. in my writer's room one of the writers who – was a uh, you know, in the uh, Democrat thing. Well, they all were. But, yeah, which uh, one was not? Uh, she said, "I'm just afraid this show is humanizing Trump voters." Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> humanizing human beings <laughs> wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, I mean, think people about can't that. hear themselves. No, they. Can't. I would never even think that about Biden voters. I think they're human beings. I would think. Of course, wrong. they are. And I know some of them, and. Not a ton at this point, but I do know still some. And I have things. all in my family. You know, uh, it's like that's why I wanted to do the show I did to show a Hillary hater and a Trump yeah, hater in right. the same family. Right. And they still loved each other because I knew this terrible division they were pushing. I, and I, then I, they I, blame I, Trump for him. No. It's like the rape victim and they humiliate her. Because mm -hmm. that's why I say I said they treat. Trump like a woman yeah, no. in the press killing. because it's a, a rape victim that they they harass, set up, mm -hmm. frame, 
and then refused to let, they, he doesn't even get a jury in that Letitia James trial. No. So that's like, it's a witch burning. It, it's not, he says witch hunt, but it's a witch burning. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's not allowed, he's get, under gag order to say this is bullshit, which everybody knows it is. There's not even, you know, it's not even a law case. It's lawfare gone mad, which the whole Democrat party is just lawfare gone mad. Lawyers that Whatever can't get takes. a job anywhere else, but for corporation, for, for, for corporations. And it gets me because there's nothing less democratic than a corporation. Right. For God's sake. I, I have noticed that. <laughs> yeah. I would never work for one again, I'll tell you that. No, I Ever, would never. Under any never. circumstances. No, I'd, I'd rather, rather be on the street. I'd rather be poor. Yeah, I've been poor. It's you know, not preferable, but better than working for those people. I Yeah. 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 It's <laughs> something, isn't it? Well, it's just, yeah. It's... You felt, remember I sent you that video when you got fired about, it was you and it was a guy with your head, head but he was tap dancing and he was getting thrown out and then he starts flying. Remember yeah. that? Do you feel I do like remember. you're flying? Well, I was, I mean, I was not surprised. I mean, well, I, of course I was surprised. I didn't expect to get, you know, my show canceled Monday morning, but um, I wasn't, if I took three steps back, I was not surprised at all. I mean, mm -hmm. I was, first of all, television's like that. Mm -hmm. People get fired. There are all kinds of lines that no one will explain explicitly. I'm a very literal person, so I would I'm totally happy if, you know, if I'm not, just, just, I would always say, just write it down for me. Yeah. Oh, I can't say, just, can you just, Send me a text. I've got a bad memory. Yeah. That's what I say too. Oh, I can't. Exactly. I can't be conservative on a conservative TV channel. Just, just write that down for me, if you would, <laughs> just so I can have it as a reference point. <laughs> oh well, you know the lines. No, I, I really don't, because I'm kind of stupid. So if you could just, um, so I knew on a gut level, like I knew, um, they were very nice to me. I should say that and be clear about it. They were very nice to me the entire time I was there. But I could feel that they strongly disagreed in the war in Ukraine stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's what it was? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just no. speculating, but they, they really didn't like that at all. The January 6th stuff, they really oh, didn't they hated like that. I think we had a bunch of people quit over mm -hmm. that. And and mostly I would say mediocre, you know, like Chris Wallace should not be on television or Jonah Goldberg or so, you know what I mean? These are people who obviously the audience hated and shouldn't have been there in the first place, but they were so outraged because I said, you know, it seems like there are probably a lot of feds in the crowd oh, on yeah, January 6th. And now it turns out, of course, there were, there like were. way more even than I imagined. The yeah. whole thing was a complete setup. Yeah. The whole thing was a lie, and it was used to put people in prison for expressing their constitutionally protected One, rights. One, a, a three-time Purple Heart winner. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, and They I, have no shame. Oh, you see?